was one of the first people in line at SummerSlam morning, says Jason. Such an amazing guy. Me and my son were nervous as hell. He was so cool and social, was the highlight of our day, and we met Sting, Nash, Hardy Boys, Brett, and a few others. Thank you, sir. Us fans are grateful for your kindness. This is in response to what you were talking about in the signing up in Jersey when they were trying oh, to move God. you along. N. Rude also confirms, and he says, having been in line at a Nash autograph signing in the Northeast, he does make sure the fans go home happy. I spent a lot on the three 8x10s, title signed, picture taken with, and he took a lot of time with me. And he asked to borrow a silver Sharpie um, for show in case others brought title belts. I said he can keep it because I have many. So he gave me another autograph for free, and I can't say how cool he is to the fans. Others will, would get told off, but us fans, he does appreciate. So there you go. Confirmation. Yeah, they've been paying my bills for 30 fucking years. Exactly. Todd Snyder, only Big Kev can make me laugh while telling a story about getting skin cancer removed from your face. The Augusta Grounds Crew comment made me laugh my ass off. Thanks for making the early part of my week at work better. I, I, if... If I could have, when that guy put that mirror down and he showed me that hole in my face, I'd have probably thrown up in my mouth and died. I was like, Jesus, dude. If anyone didn't see last week, we had a close-up yeah, of like, the uh, wow. the removal. But looking good this week, big dog. Marky fucking Mark says, Kev and Sean are somehow both depressing and comforting at the same time. This podcast is like listening to Nirvana while drinking gin. Well, that's your problem. Nobody likes the taste of gin. Drink I like gin. Drink something else. You don't like gin? Well, you don't do anything but wine, do you? Uh, I ordered an old-fashioned at the restaurant. That no, you, you ordered a Scooby. You ordered a Scooby Doo old fashioned. It was in some Mr. Whitman's lantern case with smoke coming out. I'm like, what the fuck? It was a smoked old fashioned. When they're on yeah. the menu, you have to get them. Like, like I don't get enough fucking uh, <laughs> people staring at me when I go someplace. I let, let my partner get some fucking drink that looks like uh, nineteen fucking right. thirty. That's what. That Doctor, drew the attention to doc, the table. Dr. Frankenstein drink, you know, with the fucking smoke coming not, out. Not the nine-foot-tall guy throwing elbows to the woman's chair behind him. It was my drink. It's okay if the fucking bitch outweighs you by 30 pounds. 